Right, I think we're live. <clears throat> Hello, Frey. How you doing? We're gonna do a little Christmas tree painting. That's the idea. So I'm gonna start off with some, uh, just some clear paint to begin with. This is just like a clear oil to begin with. Uh, the Catwoman, how you doing? What are you painting today? A little Christmas tree. Nice to have you here. I'm just gonna start, us. it's only a little painting, so I'm just putting a bit of clear on first and then we'll start putting some color on. Hopefully a little Christmas tree. With some snow. putting a very small amount of um, this liquid clear on. You don't need a lot of this. This helps all the paints blend. Let's just turn that upside down. If you guys can tap the screen for us, that'd be fantastic. Get some lights go likes going on. You like the stream tap the screen hello Lexi that's just joined so we've got the liquid clear on making sure it's all covered okay and you can look down the edge of the board make sure it's all shiny There's a little tiny mist there I don't know where I'm getting that little bit of white from but there you go Okay, so that's done. The next stage is adding some blue. You probably won't see a lot of this go on, but it's quite a dark colour. So I'm just gonna, it's a really nice blue. But when I start adding the white on top of that, it really does shine, come through. So I've got a nice load of paint there on the brush. So we're just gonna cover the whole board in this blue. You might be able to see it going on, you might not. But until I start adding the other colours, which is less than a minute away, I'd guess, then we can see, again, making sure the board's all nice and covered in this blue. Really scrubbing it into the canvas. And I'll just turn it upside down again. You can probably see somewhat not a lot to begin with. Hayley, hello, how you doing? Nice to have you here. Breeze, hello. Right, just gonna cover the rest of this board and then we can have some fun. Putting like the base colors on first. It is a really nice blue. And then we can put some um, white on top of that and make a nice sky. Okay, so I think that's all coated. You probably can't see much, but you will be able to in a moment. Right, let's put some white on then. Let's put some white on. Uh, hello to everyone that's saying hello. <laughs> I can just about read some comments. Naila, how you doing? Nice to have you here, Naila. Doing a little Christmas tree. Joey, hello. I'm just going to bed at 11.20 am after painting for eight hours. Wow, <laughs> what have you been painting? Hayley, I'm all right, bad news, I've had it. Oh no, that's not good. I wish you well, Hayley. So, I'm just gonna put, get some white here. You see that? I'm loading up the brush. So we want sort of a, a sky, so I'm gonna add some white and then afterwards I'll blend it in, which is the fun bit. So let's just think where we, just dabbles, dabbles of white. You can see it's turning blue because obviously I put the blue on there. Just anywhere you like. We'll be blending this out in a minute. So this is just the sky behind 
where the tree is going to go. So the tree will be in the middle, so let's just, that will probably do I think. Let's have it going off the canvas. So at the moment it looks a bit of a mess, but all will be revealed. See you Hayley, take care. Yeah, drink lots of cranberry juice, it helps to talk. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, you've been doing a landscape, lovely jubbly. Tag me, Joey, in one of your, one of your things. <laughs> so I can have a look after. Right, so let's um, do some blending. So, I can probably go both ways on here. We'll, we'll just go up to begin with. This is where the magic happens. So this is just like a background sort of thing. Look at that. Just proper blend that out. And we can go sideways as well. Isn't it amazing how quickly you can get something like that? Uh, Frego, I'm excited to see the results. Me too. <laughs> so just a little bit of blending here. As you can see, that gave us a nice sort of back sky. And you guys are really, really close to the painting. You're about a foot away from the painting because it's quite a small one, so. So there. It's almost a bit like the Northern Lights. It's turned out quite nice though. We can have, um, say like a horizon. I want to get this kind of straight. Across there. So we're doing the background before the tree obviously, but just try and get it as straight as possible. That's it. Now I'm having to hold the canvas because this my my block won't come down any further, so I'm having to do this like this. Let's just and hopefully you can see what it's gonna be. You see how the white's mixing with the blue? And gives us all them nice colours. Leave some dark patches as well. We'll have a nice sort of hill down down here somewhere. Just neaten that bit up there. We can add a bit of dark in. You can add a bit more light in. Using the white or the blue, maybe some highlights of snow. Bit closer. All right, let's have a look um, at some uh, Alfie. Wow, thank you so much. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Just give it a go, mate. Hey, do you take care? Stunning already. I watched to get ideas for when I can paint again. Nice to have you here. Joseph, I was just about to say it looks like the Northern Lights. Yeah, it does look a bit. Looks good, mate. See, it hasn't took long. How long have I been live? About, what, 10 minutes, if that? It's amazing what you can do with a bit of paint. And that's literally, that goes around the house, in, you know, even in your home, what you can do in your home. You can add sort of bits of snow, wherever you want, highlights, but the tree's going to be there. I think we've got the basic sort of idea just sort of neaten some of them up doesn't matter if you have little bumps and that is the earth's not completely flat all the time okay so that's our sort of background okay so I've got to knock, knock up a colour for the tree so I want it quite a light green and then the idea is to add snow on top of that. So I'm gonna get some green, I've got some sap green here. I'm gonna try and make a, 
a background colour for the for the Christmas tree. Hello. Hello to everyone that's joining. Please, can we get to like, what are we at now? 586 lights. Can we tap the screen if you're enjoying it? And try and get to maybe a couple of thousand. Get some more people in here. Right, so I've got some green. It's quite a strong green. And I'll mix some white with that. And try and get like a light sort of green. And I think I'll use the fan brush for this. Maybe this fan brush, don't want it too sort of big. Okay, so I've got some white left here, so I'm gonna use pinch that, put that over there, just a touch of this green. That really is a strong green. Sometimes you can mix the colors on the board you can even add a bit of blue and all sorts of stuff. You get to learn how to use the colors. It's nearly there. I think I might have to use all this green. It's quite a nice green. Look at that. Maybe just a bit light. Uh, maybe just a tad more green and we'll go from there. Okay, you can play around. I think I'll go with that there. And then we'll put the tree on. Yeah, if I used yellow, it would, yeah. But as I've got white in there as well, it's, it, would, it would come out a light green, but I want this as a bit of a darker green. Yeah, this is oils, yeah. I love working in oils. So we're going to place the tree tree somewhere around here. Um, so we'll start maybe there, come down here. Just put a little line in where I want it. And I'll come down to about there because I want a bit of a hill. So we'll just do a nice little tree, hopefully. Maybe just a bit higher there. So this is quite a I'm not putting too much paint on. Because I want to put some highlights on in a moment. Which well, not highlights, some snow. I'll go down to about there at the moment and I'm going to figure out like a bit of a snow hill here. I'll probably do a bit of a bigger Christmas tree, but I want to do sort of some kind of sort of hill here and it's sat up, sat up on the hill. So we'll go back in with the white. Get some more white. Yeah, I love oil paints. Um, the way you can blend I just find so, well, I just love it. I just love the way you can blend with oils. So, I've still got the same brush that I used to do the blue and I'm just dipping into some white. I'm gonna try and create sort of a, a hill coming up here where this may sit on top. We'll play, I'm just putting a basic sort of line there to begin with. Let's just cover all this up to begin with. And then I'm gonna put a load of snow on this hill. But we can play around with this after. Maybe it comes up to about there. So you've got that nice bluey white snow. This is so nice, TNK, thank you. Nice to have you here. Please do keep tapping the screen if you can, guys. I know, I know it's annoying. It just helps me if you enjoy, and then that's that's great. Just a little thing you can do for me, just to help 
get some more people in here, meet some new artists. That's what I like. I might like to meet some new artists and have a look at their work and, you know. Right, we're just putting this on as a, as an idea where this sort of snow, snow mound is. And then I'll play with about with it afterwards. We can put some real thick snow on. And don't forget you can share the live as well, guys. And also underneath my profile picture on TikTok, there's a link. And also my YouTube button, come and join me on YouTube. Right, now we can bring the tree down just a little bit more. It's a very quite quite an easy sort of painting to do. Now let's bring this tree down. Let's have him just sitting there like that. We can just fill a few of them little bits in. So we're gonna have a load of snow sat on top of this, hopefully. So what I'll have to do is thin the paint down, um, the white paint, I want some pure white paint. It doesn't matter if there's a tint of blue in there because it's like reflections, but ideally white. So I'm just gonna get another brush. Maybe use the fan brush for this as well and just put some white on. Right, I'm gonna get some pure white. Hopefully this will work out okay because there's wet green paint there. I might end up with a bit of green snow. But hopefully thinning it down with some thinners help the help the white stick. Um, Jam powers, you do a bit of painting, good. I love this. Wish my paints could, it can it can look as good as this. I upload all these um, live streams to um, my YouTube channel, so you can literally watch this hub this back and all the other ones I've done, and you can pause pause it and paint along with me. So that's another little option for you. So I've just got some thinners here and I'm just getting a bit of thinners on the brush. I'm giving it a go. I mean, I started painting early this year, so if I can do it and don't be scared, you know, don't be afraid. But most of the time, if you have a happy little accident, you can, um, you know, nine times out of 10, just sort of correct it. Let's put some snow on. Right, you see it's turning quite green already when you touch it. Just lightly, just lightly touching it. Just adding this snow on. Doesn't matter if you go over, just slightly over. Just adding that sort of bit of uh, thinner to the paint helps it. But it does turn green very quickly, so you might have to sort of get some fresh paint. You know, I'm just putting the basic snow pattern on them. We can fill in little bits here and there. Oh, that's, I just noticed a big lump on of paint on the edge, edge of my brush there. Right, let's come slightly down there. Right, I'm gonna change paint because it's going a little bit green because obviously I'm painting white onto green. So a little bit more white paint. And then just, I'm just gonna clean off the brush a little bit. Yeah, Jasmine do, yeah. It's a good idea, a good way to do it. I've done uh, quite a few videos. I've got, I've got lots of shorts on my channel, so you have to go to the video section where it says videos, and you'll see them all there. I think my latest one was a volcano, which I've done the other night. So, just have some fun, relax. Don't worry about anything. Get lost in the painting. And most, yeah, most, you know, most, most of, you know, can you see how green that's gone there? Where I've dabbed the brush back in from there. Um, thank you for the rose, much appreciated Cindy. I'm an artist too and I have many of my works on my profile. 
get back into oh yeah please tag me do tag me if anyone's got any art um please do tag me in the video and i'll have a look after my live stream so i've got some this is a little bit thicker here it's not the easiest thing to do sometimes painting wet on wet but as long as we get some white on here then all's good just a nice little painting let's come down and the fan brush is an excellent brush things you can do with the fan brush it's a brilliant brilliant little tool okay let's just put a little bit of snot there on the top you can add little bits and pieces I've never I've never painted a Christmas tree before so I'm just giving it a go you might be able to tell I'm just giving it a go. I've done lots of trees. You can add little bits in there and here. Should we make him just a little bit taller? Just a little bit taller. Just a few, a few hairs there. Touching it. And then a little bit there. There's only a slight bit of green there. But I can just add a little bit of snow. There, look, just a little bit taller. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you got, it's slightly taller now. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming for uh, the top viewer. And 6K likes, thank you very much. Nice to have you all here. I'm glad I can be keeping you entertained for a few minutes. We can add some little uh, lights on now, can't we? And I can sort out this snow. So I'll do the lights or the snow first? Hmm. Let's do the snow first, I think. Just drag in some snow. The lights are easy. They'll be, just, be like little dots of, you know. So, I'm gonna get some more white. Some nice fresh white. Got some nice fresh white, a little roll of paint on the end, end there. Um, and this is going to be a bit tricky because my easel has this, I need an easel that's flat at the beginning, so I have to bring it forward and then hold it, so I might have to touch in this corner. But let's just drag some snow across there. So I'm just, got a little, this is a bit like the way I do sort of mountains. Pull down some nice bits of snow, some real thick bits of snow. There. Let the board take what it wants. You just you're just literally holding on to it, holding on to it, and letting it drag really lightly. This is how I do the mountains. You can add as much or as little as you like. And you've got that blue in there underneath. Because you can see that this is whiter because it's closer. It's closer to you. So you're seeing this a lot whiter than the background there. You can go back and put highlights in and stuff. Oh, Joseph, thank you very much for the gifts. Much appreciated. And thank you for all the likes, we're at 7.1k likes, excellent. I think my highest is, um, I think it was 26,000, so uh, we're on good form, guys, thank you so much. Now, I'm right-handed, so this side, I normally do it from the other side, but see if we can just drag that across there. Just gives that impression of a... And that blue underneath that we put there, you've got all different kinds of shades of blue. 
Well, I'm just going to add a bit more white to the board. Thanks for coming, the top three viewers, everyone. Much appreciate. I tagged you in several of my works. Brilliant. I'll have a. I'll enjoy them later. I'm also right-handed. <laughs> yeah. I've been a painter and decorator all my life, and I can cut in with my left hand, like you know, painting like rooms, you know, that kind of thing. But a little close work like this. I mean, this is a really small painting and you're really close up to it. You're literally that far away. Probably be about that, I don't know if you can use, you're so close to the, the painting. Um, I can't really get around that side to. It doesn't matter how thick really you put this on. So it's a little bit awkward for me um, to do it that side. But I'm gonna try and come around this side got things in the way <laughs> but any kind of you scrape it across you can add some more at the top the bottoms wherever you like it's your painting you can do what you like You could get some really nice sort of watery effects with this as well. Let's just go a bit thicker here and just put it down. Maybe it's a bit thicker at the top of the slope. Comes down. There, we've got a nice, got a really nice white bit of, oh, we've got white, we've got a little bit of green in there. It doesn't matter. It's the yellow snow that we don't want. We don't want yellow snow. <laughs> you can just play around. Having some fun. I think that'll do. We'll add a bit of add a bit add some little um highlights in the background maybe. And then I can put some lights on. Put some lights on. So you can just play around here, you can just add, you see just a little bit of light there, coming down. And I'm going to keep pull straight across here because you can create illusions, whichever way your brush is going, you can create hills or you can create, you know, if it's a flat surface. So I want this kind of flat, so I'm just adding maybe a bit of bright there. Helps if you make some noises as well. <laughs> Let's have a look at some of the comments. I can use oils, but I like watercolour and acrylic. I also do photography. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I've, I've, do, I've tried watercolour and I've done a few acrylics. I'll just show you a quick acrylic. I've done this as an acrylic. Um, it might look a bit different on there, but that was an acrylic. I enjoyed that. That was uh, quite fun. Um, haven't done many acrylics, but I always make noises when I paint. Oh, doesn't it help though? It really does. It helps. Literally, you can make it what you want it. Let's try and neaten that up a bit. Maybe that goes. You can change stuff. That's the thing about painting, it's so good. That goes up a little bit now. Okay, I think I'll leave that as it is. We'll add some little dots of, let's say red and yellow on the tree. Give it some, uh, give it some little lights. Now I might just use the back end. I might just use the back end of the brush here and just see, just dab it in and see how that goes. So I've got some, I've got some red here. I'm just gonna literally tap that and it should give me some little dots. We'll try it, see how it goes. Just put some random, random little red dots in. I think yellow would be a good color.
hang them some off the end. Have them anywhere you like. Hopefully you can see that, guys. Can you actually see the red? It's, it's quite clear here, but maybe you can't see it there. I don't know. It's just an easy way to put them on. I'm hoping that you can see them. Oh, I forgot the... That <laughs> just was shot back then. I forgot I brought it forward. Nearly lost the paint in there. Hopefully you can see these. Now we could add some snow as well. Maybe that would have been a good idea before I'd done the tree, but it's still possible. It's still possible. Here's a big tree. There's that one right up there. Yeah, you can't really see it. I'll show you. Let's see if I can get you a bit closer and see if I can show you some of them dots. Can you see some of the dots there? You see there, you can't really see, so sort of there you can. So it's like, you're like so close to the camera, uh, the board. But I'll show you afterwards anyway. I'll show you afterwards. Let's see if I can get you a bit closer. Can you see the red dots now? Hey, I think you can see some of them now. <laughs> yeah, nice one, okay. All right, let's add some, um, let's just see if I can add one more. There, just add some yellow on. I've got some cadmium. Oh no, this one's lemon yellow. I'll use it up, because I've only got a bit of that left. And then just clean the back end of this brush. Quite an easy way to do small dots, really. And again, you know, they're not perfect. It's a it's a painting and paintings always look better further away. Let's see if we can get some yellow on here. This one, this yellow is a bit more, actually it's quite greeny this yellow. I might choose some cadmium yellow instead. I think it's picked a bit of green up off the uh, tree and it's just gone a bit green. So I've got some cadmium yellow and hopefully that'll be, if not, I'll just use the script brush and Add it on. Oh, some nice. Doesn't matter if this paint's too thick as well. You can really just touch them on there. Like so. I'll try and read some comments in a minute as well. It's very relaxing, very relaxing. Just adding some colors. It's quite easy. Uh, yeah, well, I think we'll add some snow at the end. We'll add some snow falling. I think that'll just finish it off. Just putting little blobs of this yellow on, which is really easy to do. And it's kind of 3D, the little blobs of yellow, so... I just tried to add pick some of my paintings, I did not much, but I enjoyed doing them. Yeah, yeah, don't forget to tag me as well. I love looking at other people's work. I do like the sky effect. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's, it's like a bit, you know, it's like the Northern Lights. I suppose you could call it the Northern Lights, the way it's come out. But painting is so... It's a really good escape from everything you... Your mind just goes into it. And I think we need a yellow one there, maybe there. And I think that's, uh, I think that's enough. Let's just show you guys. There, you've got some, you see how thick some of this paint is there? And when you're further away, when it dries, it really does, I mean, you guys are really so close. This is where I'm reading you guys over here. This is all your comments. 10K, buddy, thank you so much. So yeah, it's, um, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun. Right, should we add some snow in? 
this is going to be fun. Right, so to add snow, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move some of these brushes that I've got here. I've got the fun of in the fun enjoyment of uh, cleaning them out soon. But it's no problem. Right, let's put them in there. So, doing the snow, I'm gonna use literally obviously white and then thin it down just a tiny little bit. So I'm gonna get some white, let's put it here. Don't need a lot, tiny, just a tiny little blob. And again, using the thinners, and then I'm gonna get a fan brush, quite a big fan brush. I'm just gonna dip it into thinners and just thin this paint down a little bit. You don't want it too watery, but just enough to For some reason, I've picked up a dirty brush and now it's green snow. We don't green snow, so I'm gonna put that in the bin. <laughs> I'm gonna put that one in and get another fan brush. Or I could use this brush actually. Sometimes it's good to use a brush with quite stiff things. So I'm gonna repeat I'm gonna redo that process of getting the white. We don't green the snow, do we? That would not be good. Do not want green snow. Right. Can you imagine green snow? Okay, so we're gonna do a test here. So basically what I'm gonna do is get my finger absolutely filthy and I'm gonna flick, hopefully flick the snow on. So, Always remember to clean your brushes, yeah. I cleaned them before I come out. Come out so I've just picked one up I think I've missed on by the side. And it's still got some green on it from the other painting, so. <laughs> Look, there's the, it went like a greeny color. Whoops. Right, okay, let's see if we can just flick some on. Look at that. Nice big chunks. have loads of snow hopefully you guys you can see that so I'll thin down the paint there we go how about that guys green snow would sometimes look good because it could like reflection or leaves because yeah it could do never eat yellow snow I never eat brown snow either <laughs> Never eat yellow snow, I remember saying that. Okay, so it's quite an easy sort of painting to do. Um, we got some proper snow going on, haven't we? Maybe just a bit more up there. Yeah. I love snow, so let's get loads of it. It's like a little dusting for the painting. This is a very easy way to do snow. Very easy way. The only thing is you end up with a finger like that. And then you can go and just press it on someone that you really like. Press it on their nose or their forehead. 